Hey AI lovers, Eden here. Let's kick this off with one of my favourite gadgets from CES 2025, the Halliday Smart Glasses. These beauties weigh just 35 grams, so they're as light as your average pair of sunglasses, but packed with so much tech. It'll make your head spin, in a good way. They give you 12 hours of use on a single charge and recharge in less than an hour. So basically, they'll last longer than your phone and charge faster too. No excuses now for leaving them at home. Here's the fun part. These glasses come with a proactive AI agent that can listen in on conversations, not in a creepy way, don't worry, and pull up relevant info in real time. Say someone's trying to drop some facts that seem a little off. You know, like your friend who insists pineapple on pizza is a universal truth. These glasses will serve up the goods so you can call out the BS on the spot. Iconic, right? They also have a feature that's like having your own multilingual sidekick, translating up to 40 languages in real time. Oh, and if you're listening to music, the lyrics pop up right in front of your eyes. You can literally have karaoke sessions anywhere. Add to that live navigation, voice-to-text note transcription, and a teleprompter mode for when you need to look extra prepared. And these glasses are practically a personal assistant perched on your nose. With a sleek design and a price of $399 to $499, Halliday is coming for Meta's crown. Honestly, I'm here for it. The future's looking bright and lightweight. Moving on, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang kicked off CES 2025 with a bang, unveiling the highly anticipated RTX 50 series based on their revolutionary Blackwell technology. This lineup includes the flagship RTX 5090, which boasts 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory and a jaw-dropping 21,760 CUDA cores. Translation, it's an absolute monster of a card, ready to crush gaming, AI workflows, and basically anything you throw at it. Check it out. Everyone, today we're announcing our next generation, the RTX Blackwell family. Let's take a look. Our brand new GeForce RTX 50 series Blackwell architecture. The GPU is just a beast. 4090 performance at 549. Starting from 5070 all the way up to 5090. 5090, twice the performance of a 4090. Many of you 4090 owners were not amused by Jensen's 5070 claim. Comments on social media generally were not kind. What do we at AI Protopia think as 4090 owners? I will be happy to tell you. We love Jensen, but in this case, we think he is full of it. The 4090 is a freaking beast. It's got 16,384 CUDA cores, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, and a 384-bit memory bus. These are raw, hardware-driven specs that translate directly into performance, especially in tasks that require brute computational power, like 4K gaming, AI workflows, or 3D rendering. The RTX 5070, on the other hand, is significantly scaled back. 6,144 CUDA cores, 12 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, and a 192-bit memory bus. Jensen's claim that DLSS 4 can bridge that massive gap might hold true in specific gaming scenarios, where AI frame generation plays a major role. But outside of those tightly optimized environments, raw performance matters more, and your 4090s will likely maintain a substantial lead. So, yeah, I'd call it marketing fluff. The 5070 might punch above its weight for the price, but claiming it's equal to the 4090. That's stretching things, to put it politely. Let's wrap things up with one of the quirkiest and coolest gadgets from CES 2025, the Roborock Saros Z70. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill robot vacuum. Oh no, it's got a five-axis omni-grip robotic arm. That's right, an arm. It doesn't just clean your floors, it declutters them by picking up socks, towels or even sandals weighing up to 300 grams. Thanks to its advanced AI object recognition and 3D mapping, 
This robot can identify and interact with over 100 common household items. Imagine never having to move your junk out of the way for your vacuum again. It's like having a super organised roommate who actually does their chores. But let's be real. The Saro Z70 isn't just about practicality. It's a peek into the future of fully autonomous home cleaning. Roborock is setting a high bar for what we can expect from smart home devices. And honestly, I'm down. Curious how it handles accidents by subservient quadrupeds. Catch you next time. Ciao.